Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, today we're going to look at a um, part two of uh, section 2.1. Uh, section in the, in part one, we talked about limits, and uh, to, in part two, we're going to talk about something a little bit. We're going to talk about something called continuity. But let's uh, share my screen so we can see what we're talking about here. Well, in part in part in the pre in in, in part one, we looked at these kind of graphs, and so here's the here's the function it, it here. It breaks over here. It uh, breaks up over here. Here it goes down and breaks up here, and the, and the function value is here. Okay, there is no function value, you know, this, at this, at this for, you know, there is a y value for this x value. Okay, there is a y value, but it's down here, not up there. Here, the y value is way up on, you know, we have all kinds of, we have breaks and jumps and all kinds of crazy things going on, isolated points, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Now we're gonna, uh, in part in part two of, uh, of, of this section, we're gonna look at, um, Functions which are, I guess, I'm just going to say nicer. <laughs> I don't want to say it better than that. Um, and we're going to talk about a, a function being continuous. Basically, if it doesn't have any breaks or jumps, it's called continuous. It, you know. Um, and so, so for example, this this curve right here that we're looking at. Um, so we see the the red the red line moves along, moves along, it hits that point, but it just continues. See. Uh, now here I hit a here hit a spot and the function jumps down there, uh, pops down there. Here I continue and, and all of a sudden the whole thing uh, falls down. So all these points here where the function kind of jumps uh, jumps around, or or is missing a point or anything like that, these are called um, these are called uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me. These are. Uh, called discontinuous points. In this particular point, if everything is going nicely, except just one point is messed up, either because the point is down here or the point value doesn't exist, we call it a removable discontinuity. Um, over here, we call it a jump discontinuity because the whole the whole graph jumps. Um, so, uh, you know, there's different names for these things. Well, let's look at this definition. This is really the key thing I want to, uh, I want to look at for now for the moment. Uh, let's just look at this definition here. The definition of a. I'm going to put this in. You know, I'm going to put this in our in our Google page right here. The uh, the definition of continuity to point. A function is continuous if and only if the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. Well. This um, this implies actually uh, this little statement is a tiny one sentence statement, but kind of implies three separate things. <clears throat> this little line here really implies uh, three things. It implies that the function uh, f of a is defined, meaning the function is defined with, at at the value x equals a. That's what it means to be continuous at a means that the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists. And number three is that the limit is equal to the function value. So we know that the function has a value at the point a. We know that the limit as x approaches a uh, exists. And we also know that, that that limit which exists is equal to that defined value uh, for the functions. That a specific value for the function. Um, let's, let's, let's look at an example of what we, you know, let's look at, okay, let's look right here. So here we have point, now, does f of one, I'm sorry, negative one, does f of negative one, a is negative one, does f of negative one exist? Yes, it does. It's f of negative one is that little dot right there. So yes, f, f of one does exist. Is the limit as x approaches a of f of x, does that exist? No, it does not. It does not exist. And uh, is the limit equal to f of a? Well, the limit doesn't even exist, so I, can't, I don't even get this far. So really, the first thing that's violated is the fact that there's no limit. Once there's no limit, what's the point of saying whether it, what it equals to? It, it doesn't exist. Anyway, um, that's an example of 
So that's an example. Now, in this particular case, really, uh, the second and the third you know, rule are uh, violated, but the first one to be violated is, is rule two, because rule three is inapplicable if rule two, you know. Anyway, I'll uh, submit that and we're good to go. Now let's look at this uh, graph here. So which, which one is, is uh, violated first? Well, when x is equal to two, Notice there's no y value whatsoever. Now there is a limit, the limit exists. The limit is negative three, that's fine. But there's no, there's no value. It's not, a, f of a is not defined at, at, at the point a. Now, I can't even talk about whether the limit of f of x is equal to f of a. That, that there's no point of even discussing that because What's the point if there is no f of a? What's the point? You know, so the first thing that's that's you know defined that really kind of once this is not once this is violated, it kind of it makes number three irrelevant. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, uh, how much fun these are, and let's look at another example here. Uh, Well, the jump discontinuity, this is what we're talking about is this guy right here. Um, that is the jump discontinuity. I just mentioned that uh, a minute or two ago. Uh, but let's, um, which of the following graphs is a removable discontinuity? Well, that would be these two guys right here. There's just one point that's, either the point is not, either there's no X value, there's no, Y value at all at that point, or the or the Y value is just you know in a different spot. But that's that's our that's our um, removable. <clears throat> that's our uh, uh, removable discontinuity. In this case right here, um, f of a exists because f of zero is that point, whatever that is. Um, the limit exists because the limit is actually y equals zero. Even though the even though even though that's not the even though that's not the function value, but it is the limit. But number three is violated because number three says that the limit is equal to f of a, and that's not the case because the limit is down here. The actual function value is up there. So the fact that there is a function value that's the first uh, principle, and that's good. That's the first rule, and that's good. The fact that there's a limit that's the second rule, and that's also good. But these two guys aren't equal to each other. So, so it's a third, so violation of rule three. So violation, violation of uh, rule three. There you go, it's a rule three violation. And that is, uh, that is an example of that. Now this particular example here, um, even though it's not, it's not continuous, You know, it's not continuous overall because it had, because of that one little problem point. We we still can say not nevertheless we can still say oops, let's scroll up a little bit. Still say that it is continuous on the interval zero comma infinity zero comma. And it's also it's uh, it's also continuous on the interval negative infinity comma comma oops, comma zero. So. It's not it's not continuous overall. Overall, it's not continuous because yeah, I mean, I always think of it as I can't just take a pen or a pencil and go all the way from here all the way to there without 
you know, without taking my pencil, off, I have to take my pencil off the paper for that one little spot. So, you know, it's just not connected, if you will. So even though it's not continuous overall, and by overall, I mean, now what do I mean by overall? Overall, overall is really just a way of saying um, negative infinity, the, the interval from negative infinity uh, to positive infinity. So it's not continuous for all uh, x, but it is continuous in this interval, it's continuous in that interval. So I can talk about a, a continuity within a, an interval, even if the function is not continuous uh, everywhere, all points in, in the world. Um, just give you a, a little, uh, all polynomials, polynomials are continuous uh, everywhere. Which, which is, and another way of saying that is, um, another way of saying everywhere is, is to say, uh, you know, from negative infinity to positive infinity. And uh, rational functions are continuous every, oops, ever, everywhere except where they are undefined. What is a rational function? A rational function is a function which is a, a poly, it's a fraction, it's a polynomial uh, divided by another polynomial. So, so an example of a rational function, uh, let me just, uh, example of a, a rational function would be this guy right here. Uh, let me um, just uh, let's just copy that out of here. So uh, this is continuous everywhere except uh, x is two. So this this uh, function right here is continuous everywhere except at x equals two. Because when x is equal to two, then the bottom of the fraction uh, becomes undefined. And that, my friend, it concludes uh, our uh, 2.1. And join us next time for 2.2. Something very important to calculus, extremely important to calculus, something called derivatives. And we're going to get to that in our next video. Bye, everybody.